Okay, here our goal is to solve this following differential equation, y double prime plus uh, x plus 1 over x y prime plus 2 over x y equals x um, using this following strategy. So given a solution y1 to a corresponding homogeneous differential equation, we have a solution to the non-homogeneous differential equation that's given by the following. So y is equal to y1 of x times the antiderivative of u of x, and u is a solution to this first order differential equation. So we've simplified this whole game to solving a first order linear differential equation. So notice it's u prime plus, and now we have this function that's um, related to the original differential equation times u equals g of x over y1. Okay, good. And so I might as well point out here that y1 in this case is x minus 1 times e to the minus x. Okay, great. So um, let's see what we need to do here. So in this case, we can calculate um, this term, right? So we need to look at 2y1 prime plus p of x times y1, so notice p of x is x plus 1 over x times y1, and then we're dividing the whole thing by y1. So that'll be that term. Okay, good. And so now notice that will give us twice. Now when we take the derivative of this, we can get e to the minus x minus x minus 1 e to the minus x. Good. And then we have plus x plus 1 over x times x minus 1 e to the minus x. And then this whole thing is over x minus 1 e to the minus x. Okay, good. So I'll uh, skip all of the details, but what you end up with um, at the end of this game is the following. This is 1 over x plus 2 over x minus 1 uh, minus 1. Good. Now, um, that tells us that the linear differential equation that we're interested in solving is the following. So we have u prime plus 1 over x plus 2 over x minus 1 minus 1 times u equals g of x over y1. So notice that's going to be x over y1. So we have x over x minus 1 times e to the x, because 1 over e to the minus x is e to the x. Um, okay, good. So now for solving a linear differential equation, remember uh, the solution will be given by the following. So u will be equal to 1 over alpha times the antiderivative of alpha times b dx plus a constant. So I won't work through the details, but we won't need the constant because that'll give us, just give us y1 again. So we'll actually not even consider this constant part. And I should also point out that in this case, alpha is equal to the exponential of the antiderivative of a of x dx, where a of x is this function. So I should remind everyone that a of x is this function and b of x is this function. Okay, good. So let's see, in that case, that means our alpha of x is equal to the exponential of the antiderivative of 1 over x plus 2 over x minus 1 minus 1. Great. And now, um, I won't go through all the details, but just kind of a brief um, run through. This will give you a natural log of x. This will give you twice natural log of x minus 1, and then this will give you minus x. And then we're exponentiating all of that, which will give us x times x minus 1 squared e to the minus x. So we have natural log of x exponentiated, that gives us x. Um, Natural log of x minus 1, the quantity squared, using a power rule exponentiated, that gives us the next term, and then um, finally the exponential term. Okay, so I'll clean up the board and then we'll finish this up. Okay. 
So let's look at where we are with our solution. So as we recalled before, u is going to be 1 over alpha times the antiderivative of alpha times b, um, and then plus a constant. But again, um, although I'm not going to explain this in detail, we don't need the plus a constant because that will just achieve um, the solution y1 again. Okay, so I've left that bit off. So here we have, this is 1 over alpha, considering what alpha we got in the previous uh, step. And now here we have alpha times b, and now we're going to have this, uh, have to anti take the antiderivative of this. So in this case, we have 1 over x times x minus 1 squared e to the x. And now notice a bunch of stuff cancels here. So our e to the x cancels with the e to the minus x. And then this x minus 1 here cancels with this x minus 1 and brings it down to the first power. And then we have x times x is x squared and then multiplied here. So this is x cubed minus x squared dx. Okay, good. And so that means our uh, u is given by 1 over x times x minus 1 squared times e to the x times 1 fourth x to the fourth minus 1 third x to the third. Okay, good. So that's our u. Um, and now, finally, uh, we can take the antiderivative of this. Um, so I'll skip the details, but um, what we would need to do to take the antiderivative of this would be um, <clears throat> to use some sort of partial fractions to simplify all of that and then do um, some sort of integration by parts, and that's going to give us 1 12th times 3x plus 1 over x minus 1 minus 1. Good. And now recall that our final solution, y, will be given by y1 times this. So we'll have x minus 1 times e to the minus x times 1 12th 3x plus 1 over x minus 1 minus 1. Great. And now that can be simplified as follows. So that's 1 over 12, 3x squared minus 4x plus 2. Okay, great. So that's the end of this problem.